first time in this room. Yeah, it's a it's new room, man. Yeah, it's new room. I saw you at, at the other one. Yes, yes, I've been there many times. Yeah, first time in this room. Let's see what you get. What's the uh, what's the program? Who has the agenda? Uh, I think he's got the yeah. Unless he has a speech, I guess basically we talk and that's it. Yeah, but I want to know who's starting. Who um, yeah, yeah. Who's starting? Yeah. Does do we have an agenda? So what we did last year uh -huh. was um, uh, we started with uh, the MP yeah. and then the senator and then uh, Barry Fox. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I'll take that. Sure. If you're good with that, or you have something else in mind. Yeah. No, no, no. no. So you want me to be the first person who talks? Yeah. Okay. So All right. Yeah. Okay. Why don't you guys come in just right in the office. back? Yeah. yeah, in the back. Please come. It, it just looks better. Yeah, yeah have it higher down. On the back? In the back. In the back. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. It's I, uh, yeah. All right. Thank you. Which side do you want us? Back side? No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Hi. Yeah. yeah. Come, Hajar. 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 I think we should uh, actually mix it up. Mix it up so it doesn't yeah. look like yeah. Male, yeah, male, female thing. Yeah, yeah. It's like a musical chair. Yeah. 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 The optics, right? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of it is. Yeah, you're right. She's right. So you come here, yeah. up, Mahaja, and I'll stand here. Senator so has a lot of experience. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I think I was here not too long ago. So. Okay. Well. Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, my name is Omar Al Gabra. I'm the member of Parliament for Mississauga Center, and I am once again delighted to an honor to welcome uh, Project Ramadan and the team from the Muslim Welfare Center uh, back to Ottawa. Uh, this is their second year here on the Hill. Uh, Project Ramadan is in their 11th year. Uh, this is an initiative that brings community members together to assemble uh, food baskets during the month of Ramadan and, and give it to uh, families who are in need, regardless of their background, their faith, their, uh, uh, their economic status, anybody, any family who needs assistance. Uh, um, um, they are provided with a, a basket uh, full of nutritious uh, food items that has been donated and assembled by members of the community. So it's a, a great example for our community to bring members of society together uh, to sympathize and empathize with those who need uh, uh, assistance and, 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 and stand together united as one society. So I am delighted they're here on the Hill once again. Uh, this is the House of the People uh, where um, um, members who represent different uh, corners of our country come together, assist in this assembly, learn about this initiative, uh, understand what the Muslim Welfare Center is doing, uh, and, and it certainly is a great institution. I am a proud member of Parliament for Mississauga Center who hosts uh, the uh, headquarters for the Muslim Welfare Center and the work, the amount of work that they've been doing over the years uh, makes me proud, and I'm great uh, grateful for their work, and I'm, I'm happy to support them. Uh, with that, I'd like to ask uh, my colleague, Senator Selma Atalujan, for uh, a few words. Thank you. So good morning, and assalamu alaikum. I'm uh, very happy to be here once again with the Muslim Welfare Center. You heard about Project Ramadan, but I, what I would like to do uh, is talk about some of the other work they do. Meals on Wheels, um, you know, they, uh, they already have, um, uh, you know, a program where they feed uh, you know, homeless people on Christmas Eve. I've been to many of those events. Um, I have a long time um, association with the Muslim Welfare Center because I so strongly, strongly believe in the work that they do, um, in the way, you know, they uh, send out a positive image of the Muslims giving back to society. We are lucky to be in Canada. And it's, uh, we're also very lucky to have this opportunity to give back to the country that has given us so much. I went uh, up uh, to Nunavut with them where they opened a food bank um, where there was a great need. And uh, they have uh, a lot of plans to expand it to senior citizens' homes and maybe another food bank up north. So, you know, I thank the Muslim Welfare Center for all the work they do, the, the commitment that they have. And I'm very happy that I'm on this journey with them. Thank you. Uh, my name is uh, Muhammad Iqbal Ali. I'm the Vice President of Muslim Welfare Center. I'm definitely delighted to be here for the second time. Alhamdulillah. Thanks to our MP Omar Al Gabra and to Senator Salma Taula Jan for inviting us back for the second year here at the Parliament. Uh, Muslim Welfare Center is a small grassroots charity that's been around for 
26 years, over 26 years now. Uh, we started mainly uh, trying to address the food insecurity uh, issue in Canada, and we're still heavily involved in uh, fo- uh, trying to provide food security to Canadians first. We have programs um, uh, mostly in within Canada because we believe in helping our neighbors first. Uh, we, uh, but uh, we do have programs abroad as well because there's a lot of poverty all around the world. Uh, this initiative is, for the, for the last two years, uh, we are calling it, we have named it Feed Canada uh, because simply because the food insecurity in Canada is increasing. In spite of the wealth that so many of us have, uh, there are many, many more people each year that need food banks, that need help, uh, and that need to be fed. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm really proud and, uh, and blessed that we have the support of our parliamentarians and the four sen- senators uh, who, who are trying to help us advance uh, uh, this cause. Uh, Today's event is about uh, a volunteer-led project that we have been running for the last 11 years. It's called Project Ramadan, uh, where we, it's purely young professionals organizing, running uh, uh, the show, building baskets, and then uh, those food baskets are distributed to the needy, irrespective of religion, nationality, caste, creed, whatever, all around the GTA, and now in many other cities as well. So we hope to, be, uh, con- uh, we hope to continue this tradition for uh, hopefully for as long as we can and as long as we uh, get the support of Canadians. Uh, we are lucky that we have been able to maintain this support for the last 25, 26 years. And uh, we are really blessed that the support has grown and is growing. There are so many other programs that we do. Uh, food banks is one. We have free clinics for those who do not have any health coverage, for example. We have school nutrition programs that we run in uh, schools that are located in areas in in the uh, less affluent areas of the GTA, where we provide uh, meals for the kids, 22 schools that we support now. Uh, we have uh, shelter, uh, the biggest, largest shelter for women and children in the, in the Durham region. So that's been around for over 20 years now. Similarly, we have uh, f- food banks up north, and we call them the Arctic Food Bank. And the Arctic Food Banks are there solely to address this food security issue uh, in the First Nations up north. There's a big need uh, for um, providing them good, healthy nutrition. We are, uh, we are happy that we have been able to establish the Arctic Food Bank, one in Inuvik four years ago, and the last one, uh, the second one is in Iqaluit, and that's Nunavut. We are so fortunate that uh, Senator Salma Ataula could take the time to come uh, to the uh, opening of the food bank last September. Thank you very much, sir. And, of course, we are a registered charity. Uh, we have been registered for the last 26 years. And the Project Ramadan usually it starts before uh, building baskets or packing food before the month of Ramadan, continues during the month of Ramadan. But now, because of, uh, uh, I'm uh, happy to say, because of more demand, or, uh, we, uh, we have had to extend uh, it beyond the month of Ramadan. So uh, th- that's why we are here uh, a few weeks after Ramadan. But the effort to continue to try and support and feed the needy should not st- stop during Ramadan. It has to continue throughout the year, and that's what we have been doing for the last 26 years now. So with that, I'll thank you all. I'll thank once again our hosts, uh, uh, Omar Al-Gabra and uh, Sister Salma Taula Jan for inviting us back uh, for the second year. We hope to continue this tradition, and wish, we wish them the best, uh, and, and we thank them once again from the bottom of my heart. This work will not have been, uh, we will not have been able to do this type of or this work or continue doing it for 26 years if it, not, if it was not 
for the volunteers, for our people, uh, for our staff, for our executive director here, Shais Khan. Uh, we have our volunteer, Sister Mashuda, and we have uh, Brother Faraz, who's, uh, who runs the show and arranges and, pro and does the programming for all these programs. Uh, of course, we have Sister Hajra here. She is the uh, she's a volunteer from the Project Ramadan who has traveled all the way from Toronto in here uh, to be here for the build today. We are, will be building 400 food baskets in the uh, uh, what room? In Sir John A. McDonald block uh, today, from 10 up until 4 p.m. We will. Uh, uh, we want our senators, we want our, uh, want our parliamentarians to come participate uh, uh, in, in that event and find out more about what we do. Uh, we have already done last Sunday, this past Sunday, two days ago, we built 900 food baskets already in collaboration with the uh, Ottawa Food Bank. So in, in, in total, there'll be about uh, 1,000 families, uh, 600 or 700 families that will benefit uh, from in, in the, uh, the, the Project Ramadan activity over the last two days. With that, I'll thank you uh, very much for inviting us here once again. Assalamu alaikum. May the peace and blessings of God be upon each and every one of you. Thank 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 you.